Hello and welcome to Tony's Bonsai. In this video I'm going to be telling you which junipers I think you should buy and if you don't like wasting time and money I think you're going to find this really useful. And then later on in the video I'm going to be showing you a really easy method of propagating your own cuttings from your trees. I want to just rewind the clock two or three years to when I was just beginning to get interested in bonsai again and I saw all these people on YouTube making some amazing trees out of Chinese junipers so I headed out to my local garden center. I thought I'll buy some of those and start myself. And I struggled. This is a common juniper or also known as a needle juniper. It's pretty spiky. It's not bad to work on. They're very tough. These grow in the wild in the UK and all around the world. But these are not the tight green dense foliage of the Chinese juniper that I wanted. I also came across lots of material like this. This is a juniper of some description. I'm not sure what, I think it might be a mint julep. Again, it's very tough. It looks nice, but it doesn't have that tight, compact foliage. I looked online and the prices for Chinese junipers, it was really quite expensive. So I cast my net wider. I visited probably all the garden centers within 20 miles of where I live. And never once did I find a proper juniper chinensis. The nearest I got was a variegated one and it was full of yellow needles and I just don't like those type of trees. So realistically here in the UK, I just want to let you know these are not available in garden centres. I've now acquired online four different varieties of the more favoured types of junipers. I'm going to take you now one at a time through all four species and show you why people like them. I'm going to start with this Itoigawa juniper. I bought this from a bonsai supplier up in Scotland. It cost me £75 and this is considered basically the best type of juniper. It's got lovely dense really nice green foliage. It responds well to bonsai techniques. It back buds off older wood and this is sort of in many ways this is what you could call the Ferrari of junipers. Next up, we've got this tree, which I bought off eBay for £35, and it was sold just as a standard Chinese juniper. Again, it's got that really nice, dense foliage, and, you know, for the money, I think that's not bad. Next up, we've got this smaller tree, and this is called a blouse juniper. From what I know, these were available readily a few years ago, but I think they've all been snapped up by bonsai collectors. I did manage to get this quite cheaply on eBay. It was one of three trees that I picked up for £15, so I actually only paid a fiver for it. And I bought it for this video just so I could show you the difference. It's similar to those other junipers, except if anything, it's not quite as dense. You know, the foliage is a little more sparse, but still a lovely juniper. And something a little different is this one. I bought this off eBay again. This one cost me £65. And it's called a Sargenti juniper. This was a cutting taken off a tree imported from Japan. And the Sargenti was the classic Shimpaku. So that may not mean anything to you. But again, it's basically got a lovely dense foliage. It's got all the characteristics we want for bonsai. And it's got this kind of lighter colour to it. Almost like a sagey type colour. Which I really like. I brought you in close so you can see sort of in detail the kind of fine scale that you get with these. This is the Itaigawa juniper. That's what we're looking for in like a premium Chinese juniper. So far, I've been trying to explain the difference between the sort of cheaper junipers and the premium junipers. But what I'm not saying is that you shouldn't buy the cheap ones if you want to, but you should buy them knowing what you're purchasing. This is a good example. I bought this a year or two ago and I've done some really nice work with it. I've had great fun with this tree. I've learned how to wire a trunk, how to remove the wire. I've reapplied it to the branches and styled it. I've done pruning on it. I've done root work and repotted it. So a lot of the basic bonsai skills I've been learning while I've been working on this. And I probably didn't pay any more than sort of four or five pounds for this tree. And, you know, it's been a great tree to learn on. Likewise, this tree, which I think is a green carpet or something like that. There's loads of this type of 
um, juniper around in the garden centers and they're great fun. I've managed to get some nice movement into the trunk. Again, I've done wiring. Some of the branches died off that I, I went a bit mad on, but that's all part of the learning process. And this is a great way to learn the bonsai skills without really risking much money. Next up, we've got this tree. It's called a Procumbens Nana, and it's somewhere in between the cheap and the Chinese juniper. I think I paid about 15 to 20 pounds for this tree. And would I buy another? Personally, no. I'm quite, it irritates my skin, the Procumbens. And I'd rather pay the extra and get a proper Chinese juniper. But for the money, they are available and you can buy these in garden centers throughout the country. It's got quite nice, fairly decent foliage, but when compared to the Chinese juniper, I think this wins out. And now for the cuttings, which as I said earlier, they're easy to do. And I'll just open this pot up and show you how these are getting on. I cut these off around 12 months ago. And as you can see, they're very nicely rooted already. I would have been better doing this about a month ago, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll just break this root ball up. See what we've got. There we go. So we've got nice, not too many roots on that one, but enough. This one's doing great. It's full of roots. That's going to be really healthy. And this other one, again, lots of roots. That'll do fine. Right, time to take some juniper cuttings. And after that, I'm going to tell you what I'd do if I was starting my juniper collection today. When it comes to juniper cuttings, you're going to have a lot more success if you use these long extending tips. They're full of oxen at the end and they really will root nicely. Whereas if you try removing bits of the ends of these like here or something like that, they will still root. They just won't do anything like as well. All we do is take in a sharp pair of scissors. We just remove the cutting like that and that's a beauty. This next one here, that's another good one. That's nice. So there's quite a few on this plant. And in the end, I've ended up removing nine cuttings off this plant. Once we've taken the cuttings, they're very easy to prepare. All you do is strip off the lower section like that, and that's good to go. These come off really easily. There's no need for using scissors or anything. Just strip them off with your hand. Leave the nice, the nice growing tip, and these should grow really well. I then place my bonsai soil in a tub. For rooting hormone, you can either use normal rooting hormone powder, or I, I like to use Clonex. There we go. That's to stop cross-contamination into the pot. For these cuttings, I'm going to use the Clonex. And it couldn't be simpler. All we do is just dip the base of the cutting in the hormone and in it goes. You can use a little dibber if you want and all you do is just create a little hole and in it goes like that. Now one of the keys to success with cuttings is using fairly long stems. What this does is it stops the cutting moving about in the wind because I just place my cuttings outside. And what they do is they start in the shade. So I'll pick a nice kind of sheltered spot for them. And then after a few months, they, they go into partial shade and seem to do quite well. So if I was starting my collection today, what would I do? I would buy some cheap needle juniper, the common junipers, to work on and experiment with and learn. I'd buy a couple of these green carpet types. They're fun and they work really well. And while I was working on those and practicing them, I would try to acquire 
a couple of the Chinese junipers, maybe an Itaigawa juniper. Whether you get them on eBay, you probably have to buy them from bonsai stores and pay a little bit more money. They are available out there. You'll have to do some searching. And you can grow these, style them, or as I say, use them for cuttings. Apparently, the air layer really easily. And in an upcoming video, I'm going to be doing some air layers on some of my juniper stock. So if you want to see that, you know what to do. There are loads of brilliant videos on YouTube about how to style, wire and design junipers from some very talented bonsai artists all around the world. And I'll be working on all the junipers you've seen today in upcoming videos. But I wanted to make this video just to give you that, that sort of core information about how you should start out and where you should be wasting your time looking for these trees. So hopefully I've done that. If you've enjoyed this video, if you could give me a like, that'd be great. But as always, thanks for joining me. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.